hi everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in in today's video i'm going to be talking about two sunscreens which you guys must have seen on the title or the thumbnail already i'm sure you guys have seen this sunscreen like before they are very popular they're very common this is the skin aqua this is the hachimogi sunscreen i'm going to be talking about each of these sunscreen alongside giving you guys a little bit of comparison so you can know which one is better than the other okay but before we dive straight into today's video if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel please do well to subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up without further ado let's dive straight into it so guys i will start off first by talking about the skin aqua sunscreen before the hachimogi sunscreen and really because i said i first with this one before the other one i'm going to give you guys my very honest review on the skin aqua I don't know if you guys can see the sunlight is disturbing okay i'm going to be giving you guys my honest review on the skin aqua sunscreen and i'm going to be applying it on one side of my face applying the other one on one side of my face now i'll be telling you guys um what i like about the sunscreen and what i do not like about the sunscreen now this sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen it comes in 110 grams and i think the size is very small this is 110 grams this is an Australian sunscreen. It's a chemical sunscreen. It contains SPF 50 plus plus, which is like okay for um, you know a sunscreen. And now the sunscreen is um, lightweight. I'm going to be showing you guys by applying it on one side of my face. So I'll be doing the um, one finger rule because normally I apply two fingers rule on my face, like two finger um, of sunscreen on my face, and my face is dry i think i have like an oily face because i washed my face so the shine is just from the sunlight or as a result of my oily skin now i'm going to be applying one sunscreen one hand of sunscreen on this part and the other part the other sunscreen now let's apply this sunscreen okay guys i think i'm done blending this in but it's so difficult for me to like blend it at the side of my head because i applied um i applied an edge control on my edges so it was a little bit difficult now this sunscreen is lightweight you guys can see that it leaves no white cast and it gives me this like dewy finish like my skin is not so oily and it, it appears like it appears bouncy or cake i don't know how to explain but you guys can see so I love this sunscreen a lot because it is lightweight, it is very easy to absorb, it leaves no white cast, doesn't take a lot of time to blend into the skin, it is very very like absorbing. Forget about this white cast you're saying, yeah, that's because I didn't like, I have an edges, I have my edges done, so it's a little bit difficult for me. No, now this sunscreen is, I'm going to be rating this sunscreen at 8 over 10, I love the sunscreen it's you know very easy to blend into the skin and also at least i forget it doesn't sting the eye this sunscreen did not sting my eye it doesn't sting my eye anyway so i think i love this sunscreen a lot now let's move on to the next sunscreen this is the hachimogi sunscreen the light is stopping this is the hachimogi sunscreen this is a japanese sunscreen it is a milky uv gel sunscreen it contains in it caustic seed extract this product is very very moisturizing not only the fact that it protects your skin from sunburn it moisturizes the skin very very well now it comes in a 250 ml which makes it like very beneficial like the size is a lot i think the size is the selling point that's what makes people to like really jump on this product this product is super amazing i love the product it is very big you guys can test and can can actually believe that this is the size of some people's body lotion right they apply the sunscreen on the other part of my face so you guys can see what i'm talking about i'm using the one finger rule for application the one finger of sunscreen let me apply it on this area of my face so you guys can compare you guys please pardon me if you're hearing any background noise so I'll be avoiding my eye area for some reason. I'll be telling you guys later. So.
done you guys can see this side of my face is very very more moisturized than this part of my face i don't know why but you guys can see this part of my face is so moisturized compared to this part so what i'm saying in essence is that this sunscreen is more moisturizing than the other part than the other sunscreen and it is like very easy to blend into the skin i love the finish it gives Com let's compare the two sunscreen now this skin aqua is an australian sunscreen and the hachimogi sunscreen is an, a japanese sunscreen now this comes in a 1010 grams while this comes in a 250 ml which makes it like very very like a lot for the size okay for the price now the price of this i think it ranges for uh within the range of ten thousand and above depending on where you live and this one too ranges for eleven thousand and above depending on where you're living so you can you guys can see that the size like the prices are like almost the same so i think um this sunscreen for me is leaves this kind of like it gives this cakey feeling like it has um it moisturizes the skin but it doesn't moisturize the same way this one moisturizes this doesn't leave this cakey feeling compared to this one this one is a little bit difficult to blend into the skin compared to the Hachimoki sunscreen the Hachimoki sunscreen blends into the skin way faster than the skin aqua now the skin aqua is very suitable for people with sensitive eye area so if you have a sensitive eye area you are very comfortable to use the sunscreen without the fear of you know having your eyes being stained but this one if you have an if you have a sensitive eye area i would advise you to leave the sunscreen because you, it's definitely going to sting your eye you're going to tear badly that is the reason i'm not using the sunscreen on my face i use the sunscreen only on my body because it stings my eye that was why when i applied it i avoided the eye my eye areas when i was applying this sunscreen now this sunscreen is more moisturizing and this is very beneficial with dry skin so if you have a dry skin you want to jump on the sunscreen because it's definitely going to help your skin retain moisture without you feeling dehydrated within a short period of time but this one is very suitable for people with dry, um, normal to oily skin now the two sunscreens are you know they leave no white cast it is very easy to absorb but i think this one is faster in in terms of absorbing than the skin aqua pardon my voice i'm under the weather like the weather is very cold right now in nigeria okay so i think i would prefer the skin aqua and here's my reasons the skin aqua is suited for people with normal to oily skin it doesn't really leave this greasy finish it doesn't sting the eye and this sunscreen is very very like lightweight it is like pocket friendly you can carry the sunscreen anywhere you want to go for easy reapplication so i prefer the skin aqua sunscreen and for some reason i prefer the skin aqua sunscreen because it is an australian sunscreen and you know australian sunscreen in my best opinion it is one of the best sunscreen in the world because australians are the people who suffer more of skin cancer and their products will definitely be higher in terms of their sunscreen and um, production compared to other parts. i rated this one an 8 over 10 simply because it is very small in as much as it is very pocket friendly which makes it very beneficial for you to carry about but the size is too small for the price it is very pricey and it is very small so it tends to like finish very quick but the skin aqua sorry but the hatimogi sunscreen is very big but it cannot be carried about it stings the eyes i think i've said this i've said this a couple of times so do not jump on the sunscreen because you are seeing it on the you are seeing it on social media and all that if you have a sensitive eye area i would advise you please please do not get the sunscreen because you're definitely going to regret it in, at the end unless you want to use it on your body but if you have the intention of using it on your face and your body you will definitely regret it because it will sting your eyes so badly I prefer the other sunscreen because it, do, it just gives this oil on the face but it doesn't give this bounce now check this check this part of my skin now check this other part so you guys can see that this one leaves a kind of bounce compared to the other one i prefer the skin aqua now i'll be rating this one a six over ten and here's my reasons this sunscreen stings the eyes if you have a sensitive eye area you're definitely going to regret buying the sunscreen now this sunscreen is kind of it makes me sweat more than the other sunscreen it gives me this glowy finish it gives me this dewy finish but it tends to make me sweat 
at the end so i'm going to be rating this sunscreen is six over ten the i think the size is just the selling point for this hachimogi sunscreen the size like wild everybody up that's why people are really jumping on this sunscreen so i think this sunscreen is six over ten for me and, and i'm rating this one an eight over ten so guys we have come to the end of today's video if you find this really helpful please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to this channel as well and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when next i post a new video